Now there's something you can do to check the part and make sure it is where it needs to be. If you know that your model's right, you need to check your toolpath against the model to make sure all of your depths are correct and make sure you didn't leave any stock in the corners. And the best way to do that is go to your toolpaths and use something called stock model. This will give you an evaluation checking your toolpaths against the stock. Now, one of the first things you want to do in here for your stock definition is tell it to use your actual stock setup. And then we can give this a name. So this stock model will be called complete part. Now for our source operations, this is where we're going to tell it what we're comparing the model to. So I want to compare it against all of these toolpaths. So by picking the machine group, I'm selecting all of the toolpaths I created. Now here's a path tolerance. So it's basically going to calculate these within five thousandths. Well, I'm going to make that two thousandths. Smaller you make it, the longer it takes to calculate. Next, we're going to tell it if we want to do a stock compare, and we do. So with my stock compare, I need to compare it against something. So we need to select a stock model. So I'm going to pick my solid. So you know your solid must be right, because the teacher inspected the solid and you wouldn't have been able to do your toolpaths unless your design was correct. So if I compare my toolpaths against that solid model, they should match. So I'm basically going to be looking for my stock model to be green. Green means that it's going to be less than two thousandths of the actual model. If I see anything that's blue or this darker green or red, then I know that there's too much stock somewhere in the corners of the part. Now there's also a part tolerance here for the comparison and it's going to compare the solid model against the stock model by a value of a thousandths. So with all that selected we're going to go to OK and it's going to start to calculate the stock model. Now you'll see here something that looks like a, a spindle or a needle and thread. So it's actually a threaded operation. Basically, it's calculating the stock model in the background, calculating it against all of these toolpaths, and once it's finished, it'll display the stock model on the screen, and then we'll see if there's any stock left on the part. So now the spindle is gone. We can see that everything is green. If I was to turn off my solid model, put myself on the support geometry level, turn off my solid, and I can see everything is green so that means everything is cut to the right dimensions matching the solid model. So that's a good way for you to check your final tool pass against your solid model to make sure you have all your depths correct and make sure that you didn't leave any stock in the corners. Whether or not you keep this operation in the list is up to you. I don't think they're going to penalize you for having it there, but it doesn't really need to be there at this point. Once you've checked that everything's right, you can delete it if you want, but it won't hurt to save it. So I've gone in and changed one of my operations so that you can see what it looks like when it does actually detect too much stock on the model. So if we look in here, we can see the blue and the dark green. Actually, let me go back to my level manager and put myself back on level one and turn off my solid model. So we can see there's too much stock in these corners. Now in this case, I went into the final contour and I changed my tool to the half inch end mill, which is of course too big to get the 200 thousandths radius in these corners. But that's what you're looking at, or that's what you can expect to see when you do the comparison. If it fits, if it's less than two thousandths, it'll be green. If it's over two thousandths, it'll be blue. Somewhere between there and twenty thousandths will be this green. Anything over twenty thousandths will be this red color. 
So if you see that, you need to go back, find the operation that left too much stock, fix that problem. Then you also need to go and verify each one of these groups and recreate your STL model because remember they're going to be checking those STL models. Just fixing the program here won't fix the STL model. You have to recreate that. So that's what you can expect to see if you have a mistake. So in this case I can go back into my parameters, reselect my 3A send mill, OK this, and you can see the stock model is marked dirty as well as the operation that I just changed. So I can regenerate all the dirty operations. So it updated the toolpath, and now it's updating the stock model. And there we have it. Everything's nice and green.